It's been a while guys, but we're back with the banger. My name is Joseph Adamafi and you welcome to another edition of Sports Update Ghana. And coming up in this edition, former Black Stars player Aminu Dramani, who is famously known for his goal against the United States of America at the 2006 World Cup in Germany, has been speaking about that particular goal and has a piece of advice to up and coming players. Well, we also have updates on Black Stars coach Utoadu, who Ghanaian radio presenter that is a big Santana has issued a strong word of caution to the coach to step up the Black Stars performance and well the squad ahead of the 2022 FIFA World Cup. He warned the coach that should in case the Black Stars fail to win again at the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar, then Coach Otoado should not think about returning to Ghana with the Black Stars. But well, Black Stars assistant coach that is Masudi Dramani has assured that the Black Stars will step up their game before the World Cup commences in Qatar. More coming up here on Sports Update Ghana, but first, please do subscribe to the channel, like, share and don't forget to leave a comment. Let's get into the details now and starting with former Black Stars player Aminu Dramani. Well, he has been reliving the past after scoring that iconic goal against USA at the 2006 World Cup in Germany. Well, the former Black Stars player is famously remembered for that particular goal where he picked up a ball after intercepting the ball from a USA player and just went into the penalty area of the USA and killed the ball beyond Tim Howard to score Ghana's first goal in the game but immediately after that goal well Klein Dempsey got a equalizer for USA but Ghana's captain Steven Apia was there to rescue Ghana and give Ghana a 2-1 win from that game but well several years after that particular tournament. Hamini Dramani, who I must say is one of my favorite players in the Black Stars, and I'm hopefully looking forward to interviewing him. I've been speaking with Yao Fosulabi about that moment where he scored the goal at the 2006 World Cup against USA. Let's listen to him. World Cup means a lot. It means a lot to me, not just me alone. Like every footballer's dream to play, to be in the World Cup. Understand? So he said. It's a big opportunity for every player to see himself playing in the World Cup. Yes, uh, arrived at the stadium where we we'll play our first game. When I feel the grass itself, I was like, "Wow!" So I'm, I really, <laughs> I'm really going to play on this field. But then, come on, it was a great feeling to see myself playing the World Cup. I can I say? I was young when joining the senior national team by with the qualities that we had at that time I wasn't seeing any country to be tough team for Ghana because I believe in our team so much so I wasn't seeing those things I would just feel like we were there to just participate in the tournament so there was no any tough country for me of course Ghana against USA you know I remember right after the game Isi was telling me hey you know, this your goal is going to be there forever, you know. So I remember all those things. It was amazing. It was an amazing feeling. I remember very well, like, I think there was a one-on-one -on -one moment and um, I decided to take a risk. But then I had Steven and I think other guys around me, which I was supposed to release the ball for them. But through the risks, but I couldn't, I lose the ball. But come on, I went back to the ball again to make sure I intercept the ball that I lose. I haven't been around the team for a very long time, but I, I believe, and I believe in any player that they, that is selected to the, how they call it, to the World Cup, which I think Ghana, Ghana, Ghana is going to do well. That's how I see it, we're going to do well. Well, yeah, for the young and upcoming players, I, my advice is for them to focus on making the name here in the local before thinking of going outside. With that, it helps you to boost your confidence and all that, you'll be respected and all that. So that is Aminu Dramani over there. And well, before he ended everything, he talked about the fact that the upcoming coming players, if you want to become a great player out there, you have to make a name for yourself on the local scene before you go out there. Moving on, let's look at, well, Abeku Santana, well, the video presenter, he has issued a strong word of caution to Black Stars coach Utoado following the Black Stars recent dip in performance after losing 3-0 to Brazil when coach Utoado assembled a team that many did not agree with. Well, in the game against Nicaragua, the Black Stars were able 
to come to the party where they defeated Nicaragua by one goal to zero and Coach Otoado put up a good squad for that particular game. But after those two games, well, Abeko Santana is still not a happy man. He says that, well, Coach Otoado must be very careful to ensure that he doesn't concede goals or lose all three matches at the group stages at the World Cup to the extent that the Black Stars were in the tournament at the group stages. He says that if that should happen, then Coach Otoado should not think about coming to Ghana because Langabel and his team will deal with him. Let's watch that video of Abiku Santana. Hey, Ghana Black Stars coach. Otoado. Say, oh man, a bro for him, bro near Ghana for. Bro for now, can I? No, 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 no. I was saying, I'm going to catch you. I'm going to catch See if you are a woman, you are a woman. 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 So that is Abeku Santana over there purely livid about the situation and says that Coach Otoado must really impress on this performance else the calamity that will be for the Blasters will be very bad and says that the coach must be serious with the Blasters this is not time for Matrai Makwe he also makes a good claim for Asamoajan as to if Asamoajan should go for the World Cup well, we can make our uh, statement and cries that Asamoajan should go to the World Cup but Otoado is the man who decided. The 2019 AFCON witnessed that. Asamajan should go to the AFCON. Asamajan, Asamajan. Then we took him there and he was the general captain. That was when Andrea Ayu was made the main captain. After Chrissy Apia said that, uh, <laughs> the pastor has told him that if you make Andrea Ayu the captain, he will go and win the tournament. Phew, nothing happened. Asamajan played one game at that particular tournament and that was it since then. He hasn't played for the Blasters again. Now we are looking forward to taking him to the World Cup in Brazil. Well, that's up to the girls to judge. But well, let's move on and do some more. And before we go, well, in the update though, Black Stars assistant coach, that is Masudi Dramani, has assured that the Black Stars will come to the party at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. He says that although the Black Stars game against Brazil did not go well, well, they were able to step up their performance against Nicaragua, and that is an improvement in their performance. For me, that is not a good performance because they are playing with a team that has been ranked 139 in the world and you say that you defeated them by one and that is good enough. Well, we needed a convincing victory but Coach Masuri Viri Romani says that we shouldn't worry at all because the Blasters have one last friendly match against Switzerland before the 2022 FIFA World Cup start and well, by that time the Black Stars will be fully prepped and they will have a full house so we are not going to have those kind of Matra um, Makwe performance by from the Black Stars anymore. So he says that before the game against Portugal, the Black Stars will be very, 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 very much prepared and in shape for that particular game. The Black Stars are in Group H of the 2022 FIFA World Cup and come up against Portugal, South Korea, and hopefully get a revenge against Uruguay. Well, that will be it for this episode of Sports Update Ghana. My name is Joseph Adam. A few bring you the latest update and sports here on sports update Ghana. thanks for watching please do all subscribe to the channel like share and don't forget to subscribe.